welcome back again. It is again November 29th, 2022, and if confirmed, this would be the largest earthquake in years to strike Canada and the largest to ever hit Alberta. The current largest earthquake to hit Alberta is a 5.4. This is a 5.9 already being downgraded from a 6.2 at 6.2 miles in depth. Very shallow. You do not see this every day. This is a super rare earthquake, and I'm sure within just moments you will see it here on the USGS. It has not been posted yet. Here is the official information as of now. Depth 10 kilometers, magnitude 5.9 at 2345 UTC near Peace River, Alberta, Canada. If we jump into Google Earth, you're going to see something interesting. There is a decent population around this area. Here's Peace River, Grimshaw, Fairview, Father. All these places have reported different people feeling this earthquake. This is not a small deal. Canada does not see earthquakes of this size very often. But one thing I need to point out is you are looking at different pumping operations operations oil and we can scroll all the way up here and you just see field after field after field here are some of the drainage pools they use for the wastewater we can zoom back out and you'll get a better idea of how many are in this area we just put a video out about texas and the large earthquakes they've been having in their oil field so again very interesting to see all these pumping operations basically on either side of the epicenter of this near 6.2 earthquake now, for whatever reason, the USGS has not yet reported on this quake. Usually about 10 minutes after Volcano Discovery, you'll see them pop up on the USGS. But if you didn't think there was an earthquake, take a look at this. Already 207 reports of people coming on to Volcano Discovery alone and reporting what they felt. I'll read a few of these for you. Everything kind of wobbled for a bit. Felt by three people in separate rooms of the same apartment on the fourth floor of a small apartment block. This one from Lacrete, Alberta. Everything was shaking in the entire house, both floors. Nothing fell to the floor, animals went crazy, and plants were swaying from side to side. First time I've ever felt a quake in La Crete, Alberta, lasted for 30 plus seconds. That's massive, and that's because of how shallow this thing was, 6.2 miles. I'll read you one more. We were in the house, and then all of a sudden there was things moving forward and back. We had a group who texted to say they felt it. I'll leave the link for these reports in the description box, but if you take a look at it, you just see hundreds now. And this just took place, so you know full well there was an earthquake in this area. And that is whether the USGS wants to post it or not. I don't know how they are not posting this earthquake of such significance. The largest earthquake in years for the country of Canada. Now for reference, I want to show this article to you. Earthquake that shook Western Alberta was the second largest ever in the province. And that was only a 5.0 magnitude. This would be the largest earthquake to ever hit that area of Canada. I'm not positive on the largest earthquake ever to hit Canada, but I know this is a super rare event. In fact, I do know there are some earthquakes that hit the upper side in other parts of Canada, but this very well may be if confirmed as a 5.9. It started as a 6.2, then immediately went down to a 5.9. So if confirmed as is right now, this may be the biggest earthquake to ever hit Alberta since earthquake recording began. All right, my friends, just wanted to bring you this info. If I get any reports of damage or any significant updates on this, I will bring you that information. I appreciate you all. Shout out to Canada for sure, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.